our Form 2 class speaker, Jim Jankowski.
After a questionable seventh grade with the online play, I once again returned in eighth grade. When I walked in on the first day, I had a moment of reflection. I was standing in the same position that I looked up to two years ago. Drama in eighth grade was a period in which I felt I could really express myself. It was relaxed, but also made me feel excited at the same time. The most valuable thing I gained from this experience was an overwhelming sense of community and belonging. A lot of people don't know this, but backstage in the cafeteria, there's a brick, brick wall. And on the last day of every season, the entire cast signs the wall in a permanent marker. Each year, two more bricks are filled, one from the fall play and one from the musical. Two more bricks that contribute to a wall that represents the amalgamation, the time, effort, and creativity the students have dedicated. I'm proud to have my name written on that wall three times. It's actually incredible to be part of such a welcoming community that can see spans over years of bricks. As we're now concluding a fundamental portion of our lives, it's hard not to think about the path that lies eminently ahead. The icon Danny DeVito once said, I'll tell you one thing, it's a cruel, cruel world. <laughs> High school seems like a big, scary thing that's edging closer and closer. It can be, really depending on how you look at it. However, I'm here to paint it in a different light. Freedom is a greatly anticipated aspect that can be intimidating. The added responsibilities and pressure are inherently stressful. However, it is an excellent opportunity to discover or enrich new intellectual curiosities. Not only that, the greater independence allows for you to explore a skill or hobby that you may have been meaning to try. If I were to take one lesson away from my middle school experience, it's to never be afraid to be yourself and do the things you actually enjoy. Our school has been instrumental in the growth of all of us here. It has nurtured our characters and shaped our personalities. But it has become an extension of ourselves. I would like to take a moment to appreciate the teachers who have guided us all to achieve greater heights. Yeah. <laughs> You've not only taught us some of our most valuable lessons in and out of the classroom, but you watched us grow into the people we are today over the last few years. I would also like to thank the parents for making unquantifiable sacrifices for their children and set them up for success. Thank you to the parents. Yeah. Thank you. for being a constant pillar of support for us as we've navigated the ups and downs of middle school. Mom, Dad, I'm not an easy job, but thank you. Thank you for sending me here to provide me with the breadth of opportunities, friends, and resources that I know I'll need for the future. Now, as we are as close as ever to moving on, we can be certain of a few facts. I'm sure we will all approach the upcoming challenges head on with the same boldness and equanimity as we do now. The future may seem frightening, but now is the time to face it. We've all matured, learned, laughed, gotten in trouble, and had some of the best days of our lives together. When all is said and all is done, here we are, still on June 8th. A day that seems insignificant, but in actuality is a pivotal milestone in our lives, a demarcation of independence. It's time to move on and embrace the future all, embrace all the future has to offer. I hope you will all join me in wishing Kanye a very happy birthday. <laughs>